Hello, I'm Paul Tonko and uh, am the proud sponsor of the uh, Fort McClellan Health Registry Act, um, a bill that uh, would make certain that uh, we create a registry for those who had served uh, at Fort McClellan in Anniston, Alabama. The fort closed in 1999, but there have been many health related concerns uh, that should be addressed so that service related injuries or disabilities that impact veterans can uh, be made available to them uh, throughout the course of their lifetime. As a active fort, its function was to train um, our military in chemical and biological weapons uh, training. That training center by its very nature um, was impacted by uh, radioactive substances, by mustard gas, by nerve agents, and by PCBs. So there's a concern here for all of our veterans and in a particular way for female veterans, uh, it could have impacted them in ways that might address infertility uh, or difficult pregnancies or any uh, particular damage uh, to uh, females. Um, and because of that, it's imperative that our government maintain a registry so that we can develop the patterns, create the data that are very useful in informing us as to what extent of uh, harm this has caused our veterans, what are the patterns of that harm, and um, how should we be able to connect our veterans uh, to those ongoing services if they have been uh, uh, impacted by service-related injuries or disabilities. The impact isn't felt for years, if not decades. And um, to not have a registry that can inform and direct us, uh, that can enable us to put together the best response for services and uh, treatment for our veterans um, is uh, a huge neglect. I introduced this measure 10 years ago. We continue to fight for this legislation because we fully believe that it is right, it is fair, it is just, and it brings um, you know, the attention uh, to an issue that has impacted far too many of our veterans and a disproportionate amount of those veterans being female.